So in the next video, we are going to see this GPU thing. So how to enable always offline mode through the GPU, like force it. And this is very interesting, slow link mode. So basically what's saying is that if the latency that the time it takes for uh, a client to access the file from the server, if it's more than one millisecond, then enable force the offline mode. Basically, it will get the file, but make a copy and create every file that you access uh, will be downloaded as a uh, copy. So you have to go and do that through the GPO policy, group policy management. So that's why I wanted to do it side by side to see what's we can do let's do it I should have done like this is no it's not gonna happen okay so I need my server here so we'll go from the server like it should be under tools it should be group policy management that's what we need group policy right there and the next thing you want to do is go to for flight file settings to optionally create a new group policy object so this is my domain this one we can create in this domain and link it here that's what it says let's do it We're gonna name it obviously always offline mode. We click OK and then we have to edit it. Right? So right click and add it. A computer configuration and expand policy. So this is user configuration, this is computer configuration. Extend policies, administrative template. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see better. Administrative template, that's what it was. Network, offline files, right there. And there should be a value that we need to. Right click configure slow link mode. It should be they are not uh, <coughs> in like ascending or descending order so we have to find the slow link mode so I'll just do it like this right sending it configure slow link mode this one right here <clears throat> next we have to either double click it or right and right click and add it I'm to use the double click select enabled you have to enable it and then in the options box select show options box this is the option box There's nothing to show, right? The value name box specify the This is interesting. So it says select show. I don't have anything that's saying show here. So if I disable it, enable it at 640, I think that's the millisecond or BPS, like bits per second, that's the connection speed. The show container content window will appear. If I right click and add it, it's the same window. So this is probably another So if I 
put that steric in here. Can I do this steric? No. That's the. That is weird. Can I put steric here? No. Steric. There's no option for. What's down there? Okay, apply and that. In enter. In enter. So I don't get anything else. I am just getting uh, or disable. Nothing is working. Cancel. Cancel is not working. Ah, slow link speed. I am in the wrong thing. This is the one. I ruin this. This is how you do it stupidly. So this is enabled and nothing is happening. This is the show button that they were asking. So in the value name box, specify the file share for which you want to. So you can double click it and you can enter the val uh, value. So you have to do it for uh, that file that you want to. Uh, I think I misunderstood it so it's not like all of the files will be available offline it's about the file that you want to force onto your users to be available offline that's what it is so let's go that uh, file is this one uh, USMT no ESML it was in EMSML so this one so if we go there it says ESML but we're gonna go with server one nine slash ESML slash sites and we're gonna copy this one um, I hope this works value name is this one and it gives it's giving me another one here and in the value it says table object more of all files here enter zero so if I enter static here like this it enables or uh, it forces the always available of files or mode to all the files that are uh, accessed from this server or in this domain like doesn't matter what file server they are if it's it forces that but I'm not going to use that I'm simply gonna remove it actually and in this value box you put the latency that's the right latency is equal to one so you have to type it in like this to the one and press ok so that's it it's set if I double click it it's giving me this one let's cancel it and I was right to do its server rather than an e does e like uh, I was right to do it this way rather than to sorry go, rather than to go e slash esml i was right to do server name slash uh, folder name slash file name i just noticed that that's how they want it as well so if you want to do it like static the all the files in that folder will be shared so apply it i did right right here let's double click it show okay so next we will go and force it so let's force it onto my there's two ways one is to I can run the command or I can restart the computer 
let's restart it while it's restarting I'm gonna pause the video so the computer is back the reason I do the restart then rather than force it that I uh, it's a good thing uh, it solves most of the issues uh, and you want to make it a habit of restarting your computer at least once a day that's what that our company does it actually a message pops up uh, about the, the same time and when, when it was last uh, reset it and what needs to be done about that so that's what's so you see in ESML on the server if I go there uh, let's go to the server oh there's only one file okay we can create uh, let's create another one I'll leave it there and see if I get two files there yep there are two files probably we have to force the GPU so let's do that CMD So in the end, I ended up with forcing it, right? Everything good. Let's try that and see if we... Go to our network. Yeah, it was bound to happen, right? And they access this file one more time. What happens? Does this file show up under quick access as this? So let's to really test it out. Let's uh, shut down the server. Server is going down. So again, when I click it, it does not give me the error message right away. It should like actually go try to, and after a while it should open up this page of this file. Like it should detect the server is offline, then it should go to that offline file wherever it was created. And then just give it to me from there. That's what it should do. So I'm gonna pause the video here and if it gives me the file i will show you the file if it gives me the error message i will show you that so for some very weird reason it's giving me this error it looked like that it did not work the gp update or policy for some reason it did not take effect i keep clicking on wrong things <coughs> let's try it one more time again no no lock there server location is off it's green so this is weird nope so even though I did set this one for this one it's not working I'm gonna pause the video here and go find out what's going happening so I ran the GP update again just I had a hunch that I used the uh, as admin and I haven't I, I'm exploring uh, running admin or elevated command prompt while logged in as an admin so it was not working and could not be successful because server is off so I'm in I just ran the server as well so I'm gonna this time I'm gonna manually run the GP update without elevating it and then see if that works so let's close it out here wait for the server to come back i'm gonna pause the video here so the server is back let's try that cmd command one more time try to access that file
right, I got the command there. Let's go access the file. Check the group management DFG right there. That setting. Settings. Those. I probably have to apply it to the computers as well. Group policy. Like where all the computers were. Tax government, I mean. Where is <sighs> anyways, I'm gonna just go with this one again. It's opening instantaneously this is the file let's go back there this one add it oh we haven't forced it yet right enforce do you have to like enforce it add it Policies, administrative network, and then it was under files. offload files and then it's sites.xml all right so this checks out let's go back there i can put enforced as well i'll go to this See, there's another quick way of seeing if it shows up. Let's go to control panel. Go to sync and see if it's there. It's, uh, is it? Last time I had to go, it's not. It is safe to assume that it's not going to work. Uh, So I severed the connection with the oh, server is still running. It may or may not work this time. Let's see if it does still. I can't diagnose. So this is to assume that this is <coughs> a failed attempt. I'm gonna search it with power. Uh, so let's wrap this video here. If this video has helped you please do subscribe other than that you have a great night